Hey everybody, today I'm going to be making my first attempt at composting. So I bought this combo compost tumbler from Menards. I'm going to put that together and start filling it up with some vegetable scraps that I've been saving for a few days and then some dried up uh, yard waste and things like that. I bought this compost starter uh, to get it going because I don't have any finished compost to start with. So I'm just going to jump right in and do this. So I am by no means an expert. This is my first time. Uh, I have read a book to learn the basics, but I very much believe that how you really learn things and get good at them is by doing it. So I'm doing it. See what we've got. Okay. Okay, to start, I need this piece, and these little guys go in the corners. little case thing. In the front. Okay. Okay, there we go with that. Now these things. And other side. Looks like it goes this way. And I'm going to need the screws. Huh. There's two pieces here. Who knew? Yeah. 
things like this. Okay, and then this goes on top of all of that. Oh, brother. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put these in, and we'll go from there. Okay, moving on.
to go on here. So I got interested in composting for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, I just thought it'd be nice to use the kitchen scraps rather than just throwing them in the garbage. But also because our soil here is not really soil, it is sand. Uh, and nothing is going to grow in sand. So I plan on having a large garden at some point, And I'm going to need to feed my soil in order to feed my plants. So this will be a much more fun and cheaper way of doing that. Oh, I'm missing one. For anyone who may not be aware, composting takes a bit, so I won't be able to tell you if I was successful for a while, but I will keep you updated on the process. Okay, now let's see how we get the door on. go much better okay almost there Okay, looks like that's all it is. Just setting it on top, so. And sure enough, it is. Okay, moving on, it's time to fill it. So, first, I'm going to put in, first you put in the browns, they call them. That's all this dried up stuff. Mine is mostly twigs and pine needles, but plenty of things work. Dried leaves, uh, basically any dried up plant material, paper cardboard as long as those things don't have uh, plastic you know shiny coatings on them okay so a nice layer of that then I'm going to put in the greens they call it which is your wet stuff your plant, your fruit and vegetable scraps that have moisture in them, those are what provide 
the nitrogen and the browns provide the carbon and it's the combination that helps everything to decompose and make nutritious compost. Mostly what I have here is banana peels and apple cores. We don't have a lot of vegetable scraps right now because we don't have a ton of fresh vegetables because we don't have a lot of refrigeration space yet. So I'm just breaking this stuff up a little bit because the smaller the pieces, the easier and faster it decomposes. Uh, but you don't have to do that. It can be whole as well. And again, this is my first time. So uh, if you know a better way, do it your way or share. Okay, next is some of this compost starter. If I can get the bag open. There we go. So this stuff just has some enzymes and things that help get the process started. Uh, when you have finished compost, it's already got those kind of things in it. And then you can just put some of your finished compost in with your new batch. And that helps get it started. But I don't have that yet. Okay, and then another nice layer of the browns. And you always want your compost to stay moist and be well ventilated. So adding a little bit of water. I'll give you a little peek. There it is. Can't see much right now, I suppose, but I will stir it up, give you another little peek. Give me one second. I'll let you admire my puppies trying to peek onto the table for a second. Okay, now this thing is very basic. You just roll it on these wheels to stir it up.
which it doesn't do super well. But the idea is just to mix everything up, so. We'll see how it looks after one full turn. Eh, starting to mix up a bit. So, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.